I'm excited to introduce to you today the Push Notifications WordPress plugin. This plugin will allow you to send push notifications right to your subscriber's desktop. This will allow you to alert your users when you have new content, a special announcement, or any type of custom message you'd like. It is a great way to get your visitors back to your website. This plugin uses Google Chrome's push notification technology, which at this time does require that you have an SSL certificate on your site. Let's take a look at how this plugin works. The first thing you are going to need to do is to create a new Google Developer Project. There is a link included in the user guide that will take you to a page with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this, so don't worry. Here is the page you will go to, and you'll want to look under the heading Create a New Google Developer Project, and follow these instructions. And at the end of the instructions, you will end up with an API key and a sender ID. And the sender ID is actually your project ID. So once you have these copied, you can head over to your push notification settings and click on push notification. This is where you will paste in your API key and also your sender ID. Under the notification icon, you are able to enter in a link to the icon of your choice, which may include your logo or whatever you'd like to display on your notifications. It is recommended that this be a PNG format and also that it be 192 by 192 in size. So go ahead and click on Save Settings once you get your settings added. Next, you will want to add the Enable Push Messages button on your website. This will allow your visitors to easily sign up for your push notifications. There are a couple of different ways that you can do this. And the first way is through a widget. So go ahead and go to your Available Widgets section and scroll down until you see Push Notification. And you can go ahead and drag this over into your sidebar if that's where you would like to display the Enable Push Messages button. And you'll see that's where we have it here. You can customize your title. So we have Subscribe to Push Messages. And go ahead and click Save. And then I'm just going to go ahead and visit this site so you can see what this looks like in the sidebar. So you'll see in the sidebar we have Subscribe to Push Messages and we have a button for your visitors to easily decide if they want to enable push messages. So if I click this, then the messages will be enabled for me. And then they can decide to disable this at any time. The other way to add the enable push messages would be within a page or post itself using a short code. So you can go ahead and go to your push notification settings and you'll see this setting right here, PM push notification. So you can go ahead and copy that short code and let's just create a new page. And I'll just call this push notification and I'm just going to go ahead and paste in that short code right now. I'll save this, do a quick preview, and then you can see that that button is now displayed in our page. And again, that works with page or posts. The next thing we are going to do is create our push notification message. Head over to the push notification settings and click on push message. Then you can go ahead and enter your title of your notification message. Under URL to open, this is the URL you want your user to visit after they click on your notification message. So you could enter anything here. And then under message, go ahead and enter your short message. When complete, Go ahead and click on push. And you'll see 
sending push notification complete. And you'll also look he up here on the upper right hand side, I have received my push notification message and you'll see it has the title that I had written here. It has the short message that I had written there. And then if I click on it, it will bring me to the URL that I have added. So that is all there is to it to add your push notification message. Now let's head over to the subscriber and messages setting. So here you will find all of the information related to your push notifications. You'll find your total number of subscribers. You'll see the total number of messages that have been sent. And then if you look down in the grid here, you'll see all of your notifications along with the message that was included, the links that were included, and how many people that message was sent to along with the date and time. So I'm just going to scroll way down to the bottom here and you can see the most recent message that we just sent. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the Push Notifications plugin and just how easy it is to stay in touch with your subscribers using the Push Notifications features.